Hi, my name is Ricardo and today I'm going to test the CARM magazine made in my Darko uh, that I received like a couple of weeks ago but uh, I've been sick so I haven't had the time to test it before now. Uh, one of the things I've been missing on my uh, FX Impact is that the uh, FX Impact is a sweet gun but the magazine system that uh, comes with it is not really uh, up to date in, in comparison to the, one of the other magazines I have on my other guns. So I was very happy when I had the chance and the opportunity to test this for Darko, the new car magazine. I'm just going to open it up here and uh, we're going to see how it looks. Today I'll be shooting in a hole, uh, it's about 30 yards over to the other side and, and uh, it's not so cold outside so it's actually doable today. The other days it's been below uh, minus 10 here so it's uh, rather cold. Here is the new magazine. And uh, just to check it out, how it fits on the FX Impact. We're just gonna... Put it on safe. It's a little bit tight fit. That's okay. Okay. We we'll start loading it up then, and then we'll check it out. We'll be using my uh, exact monster double, uh, about thirteen forty-three point grains, or point eight seventy grams. And uh, as I saw on the video, it was rather easy. Just put the bullet in and turn it around for the next one and it actually clicks and holds in place very nice and you also have a counter here on the side that goes up for every bullet you put inside so you also have the possibility to keep hold and uh, have a, an accurate estimate of how many bullets are left in your magazine. Check. 10, we're on 11. As I understand, Darko is going to be making these magazines uh, in 177, in uh, 22s, and he's also been able to make them in 25s now. See, we are up to 17. That's 18 bullets on the go. Let's see. And there we are. Uh, I'll check the pressure. Two twenty-two. We'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna go up and line up some uh, pointers over there, and uh, I'll be back soon. Okay, I set up the target sheet, and uh, we're gonna see how the magazine works, the cycle through of uh, the bullets, and uh, I put the target sheet about thirty yards away, 
And I'm just gonna press this on the record too so we can see there the actual shooting too. Take off safety first. I'm just going to hold over a little bit because I set this up at 60 yards. It felt like uh, no bullet went into the magazine there. And then we'll come to the end, yes, it says zero. It cycles through very nicely. The only thing I noticed is on the third shot, it's like uh, no bullet actually was loaded into the gun. But we're gonna test now with the uh, FX uh, air guns, uh, pellets. Uh, it's weight is about uh, 8.44 grains or uh, 0.547 grams. What I like about this magazine is very easy to load and, uh, and uh, you just put in bullet and click it along. We'll see how pellet fussy it is, but it, uh, as of now, it looks uh, it looks good. I also have some other pellets, like uh, some uh, real slugs, that are usually very in, it's not very easy to get them into magazines and get them to cycle very well. Uh, these slugs from NSA, I had uh, problems with them with several other magazines, uh, and. Uh, you just have to place them manually, uh, like uh, very correctly, in the same distance from the edge, or else they will uh, like clip the, the pellets. See, 17, 18. On the last one, you don't get the click. You just put the pellet inside, and it's there. No, it's like it's much more easier inside.
Third shot again. Fourth shot. It's like uh, nothing is happening here. There it loaded again. There it loaded. I can feel it's loading every time now. And then we're finished. No, we're not finished. Just got stuck on the fourth bullet here. I'm gonna try and reinsert it. Now it loaded. I'm not sure why this happens, but uh, now I know it's empty because it's a zero there. But uh, I don't know why the, they just like stopped up. I'm gonna try with another pellet to see if it's because of the pellet. We can try actually the same pellets we started with, the JSB exacts, the monster ones. These are uh, heavier pellets, so so. Uh, and this is the main pellets I use for uh, on my impact because I like the punch they give on uh, especially on long distances and uh, in uh, 177 It's a little bit cold here today. Maybe because of that, uh, things are feeling a little bit like hard and you just don't want to cycle as well as it should. Anything.
Just gonna move the camera a little bit closer here. didn't load there it loaded Finish? Yes, we are. Okay. We're gonna test uh, another bullet here. The Two more sets to go here. We have the Beasley Magnums and we have the Nielsen Specialty Ammo in 177. The Nielsen's goes very nicely inside. And uh, they get a tight fit. That's first time actually on a magazine for the 177. I usually have to uh, hand load them or uh, single load them. Uh, every time on the other on the other guns, so they don't get stuck. Twelve. The Nielsen's are very good at uh, retaining energy on long shots and they're also very good at uh, for hunting in uh, because of that. I prefer them 
every time if I go hunting, it's it's that's my go-to pellets or slug because they are so reliable and they are actually made by a little company in the U.S. I'm just to show you how it looks. This is actually. the look of a Nielsen. Okay. Yes. Still two left, just got stuck. Well, that was that for now. Uh, all in all, I uh, thought this test uh, proved that uh, this uh, magazine is uh, a long way on the right track here. Uh, with this uh, bullet, it didn't get stuck on the third bullet as I did with the other pellets, but it gets stuck to two before and they were finished. I'm gonna take a contact with Dark U Darko and see if uh, what we can do about it because uh, I'm sure there is only some minor adjustments to get it right. Okay, bye.